what's going on guys I got quite a funny story for you guys uh, my toilet actually broke which it's only like two years old and what broke was this little itty bitty piece this little shaft right here and what it what this does is that it goes inside the handle like this and then goes through and then connects to this like little box thing and as you turn it it flushes up or down which I don't know if you anybody seen like this dual flusher thing but one direction it's supposed to conserve water if you flush one direction it does a little bit of water if you flush the other direction there's a little bit of water and it's supposed to uh, it's supposed to be better for this for the environment and so since I broke that one little itty bitty piece or I didn't break it the piece broke they I called the toilet company I went to where I bought the toilet I tried looking up online I cannot find that one little piece anywhere or even the handle assembly because it's all like hoses and stuff instead of like the actual like metal arm and everything so since I can't find maybe a 30 cent piece had to go and buy a brand new toilet brand new so that's my project for today is to uh, pretty much put a brand, a brand new toilet in because oh, I can't find a stupid piece anywhere and so that's what I'm gonna be doing today I guess but it really sucks too because this is it's brand new like this toilets I don't know it's like three years old like it's I replaced the we redid that whole bathroom but whatever all right so I, so I just got the, uh, the old toilet removed it's now uh, sitting in Landon's room but uh, got everything cleaned up got the wax cleaned off of there talk about a real shithole right so that's all done uh toilet's out i don't even know what i'm gonna do with it I'll probably just give it away or i don't think i can crash it i don't think the trash man will take it it's too heavy for him the lift i don't know or they're probably charging like 50 bucks to take it i don't know but uh so yeah on to uh on to installing the new one so i definitely got to get it installed quick because uh uh, I have to get it installed quick because having having that hole open, it's letting all the uh, all the fumes, all the sewer fumes coming up, the carbon monoxide or dioxide or I don't know some some kind of bad fumes are coming up. It's it's not dangerous right now just because it's only been open for it's only been open for like I don't know five or minute five minutes something like that. But if I leave it open for days, hours, weeks. It can be really dangerous and hazardous. So, but just giving you an update on that. Apparently there is assembly required. Got a nice uh, bag of toys. So, they always send you one of these wax rings here that goes, it goes at the bottom of the toilet and then into the hole. So no, no air and everything escapes from here. But these rings, they always suck. So I I always when I replace the toilet, I go and I buy the extra large extra extra what is it called? Uh, I always go out and I buy an extra thick wax ring. So as you can tell, the difference in them, big big difference. So so that's I always do that. It's just it's I like it better. And so now I have everything I'm done. Almost, I got this little bag of goodies here. Most of this I'm not even gonna be using because it's just caps. They go over to bolts. And I already have that all in place from the old toilet. But uh, here's, the, here's the new flusher. It goes on top of the lid like this. More or less it goes like this. But, and then you just push, you push the button and then it'll, uh, it'll flush. You got, there's two different types of flushes here. It's another economy one. 
or that you got is that one is that one one yeah you got this one here it's kind of hard to see it's really reflective but you can see there's one one drop here this is for liquids and then this is for solids so when you do liquids it, it does less amount of water so it's more um, so it's better for the environment uses less less water and everything uh, and not as much pressure so but yeah it's what you do when you push the button here like this you see it kicks that out here like that it's kind of blurry but when you push it does that and then here inside the actual tank whoop, so the actual tank there's little little poppers that'll it'll, it'll kick in so poppers I don't know what they're called flaps I guess bigger buttons so now I'm gonna put all that together and hopefully get it installed all right so got everything installed Everything's done, good to go. Check out this flusher. Get the flusher like that. Pretty legit. Keep it simple, stupid. All right, so moment of truth now. Let's turn the water back on. Check for any leaks. I don't see any. So far, so good. It looks like I let it fill up, and uh, before before we actually put any in the bowl, we'll let it fill up and and see what happens. So, uh, I wasn't vlogging when I redid this bathroom, but this bathroom looked like crap. It still looks like crap because it's not finished. But uh, yeah, it had like this old, like all these walls were warped and everything, and put a new tile. Put in a glass block window. This window this is a five hundred dollar window. Like I, I like it, but I don't think it was worth five hundred dollars. So, and the shower head was actually like right about here. We raised it up, I think, thirteen inches, so we could actually stand under it. We kept the tub the same, but we played. We replaced the toilet. Now it's a second toilet. I uh, replaced the vanity. New walls are already completely gutted. It. You can see where it's not finished. All we have to do is put in molding, and then it's pretty much done. Scrape off all this extra grout and crap. But, uh, but yeah. Alright, well, I don't hear. I don't hear any water leaks. Let's, let's go check downstairs in the basement real quick to see if um, anything's leaking down there. I don't hear any major leaks, so it seems to be, it seems to be pretty good, I guess. So that toilet is. Pretty much right over here. Like it can't leak at all because it's right where my, right where my uh, computer is. So it's right up. Oh, that's the tub. Here's the toilet. I don't see any. I don't see anything getting wet. It's not wet. Nothing dripping anywhere. Seems to be good. So. Seems to be good to me, so we'll go up and we'll we'll test the first flush and see what happens. All right, so I figured out figured out what the uh, the two things are. Once is a half cycle. Let me actually I actually have the paper right here. It's it is economy or economic or whatever it is. Uh, Blue button for half, half flush, half cycle. White button for complete flush. So, that's, uh, that's what that's for, I guess. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and give it a, a good testing. All right, I don't hear anything leaking. Let's give it a full flush. I'm not. A, I'm not really a fan of. Uh, not really a fan of the way it fills up. It sounds like it takes forever. 
So maybe I can increase the water pressure or something on that. Or make it where it's not so, where it doesn't pour out so much. Maybe, it, maybe you have it run longer. I don't know. All right, so there's, it did a full flush. Half cycle. Seems to be good to me. So that's it. Yeah.